Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Kay, and um, this is the next session in the Heat Transfer Power and the Environment module. And today we'll be talking all about combustion. Okay, so this is what you should be able to do by the end of this lecture, or end of this session. So you should be able to describe the um, conditions necessary for combustion, uh, be able to balance uh, chemical equations for the combustion processes, and I'll be teaching you um, uh, a good way of doing that method and if you follow that method you should be able to solve it for any any fuel. Uh, calculate the stoichiometric air to fuel ratios for, for a mixture. Understand the practical applications of combustion and also and this is quite important understand the role of atomization in combustion because we start off with fuel as a liquid um, we need to get it vaporize it and to do that efficiently we need it well atomized. Okay, so at its very um, basic level, we need um, these three things um, for combustion to take place. And this is the term, the fire triangle, and it's quite um, simplistic um, way of representing it. So you need oxygen, you need heat, and you need fuel. And the idea is if you take any one of these away, then you can't sustain combustion. Um, this is obviously how the principle for um, fire extinguishers, so CO2, Fire extinguishers will deplete the oxygen, therefore the fire will go out. Water ones take away the heat, therefore it goes out. Um, so you need these three things to take place. But as we'll see later, you also need them in the right um, sort of quantities as well. Um, not just them uh, being there. Normally in um, uh, when we're talking about power applications, we're, we're burning hydrocarbons. So gasoline, diesel... Uh, jet A, whatever. Um, and hydrocarbons is just a term for a uh, chemical compound that is made up mainly of hydrogen and carbon. And the alkanes are the simplest form of uh, hydrocarbons. And an alkane is a, a single chained uh, carbon in the hydrogen structure. So you can see methane here, this is the simplest one. And so it has one carbon, and carbon can have four bonds, so it's bonded to four. Uh, hydrogens and that's the simplest one we can get so that's written like this CH4 so it's got four hydrogens in it and you can see that this is a gas or you may know this is a gas and this is the main constituent of natural gas and you can see for every time we're adding on one um, carbon atom we're adding on two uh, hydrogen atoms and so we can go through methane, ethane, propane, butane these are all gases um, and they're all used for various um, different processes, either in natural gas, for blow torches, camping gas. Some are used um, to create um, ethene and then poly polyethylene, uh, polystyrene. And we keep going up. But the longer that this chain becomes, um, the, you, the, the substance starts changing from a gas into a liquid. So once we start getting it to C8... Uh, H18, H18, which is the, um, sorry, it does this before this, but the reason I've picked out C8, H18, is that's octane. And this is the closest approximation for gasoline, okay, um, which is obviously relevant to this module. And the next one put on here is C12, H26, which is dodecane. Um, and this is the closest approximation for diesel. And all the hydrocarbons, or sorry, the, all the alkanes um, are generalised by this formula here. Basically there's um, talked about the fine tri triangle but to ensure um, complete and efficient um, combustion can think of this in terms of the three T's okay and they are time the first one's time so we need sufficient time uh, for the chemical reaction uh, to take place um, this is called residence time so if you think about this in the context of a uh, reciprocating engine so if you've got the engine rev, um, revving at 2,000 RPM, 3,000 RPM, 4,000 RPM, you're going to start um, putting a um, strain, if I can use that word, on the, the time available for the chemical reaction to take place and for complete combustion. So um, you need sufficient time for it to take place. And obviously that becomes more challenging as the, um, as the time available decreases. You also need sufficient temperature. Um, this is obviously from the, the, the triangle, you need that to take place. But it's basically to heat the fuels through to, uh, decomposition um, to ignition. 
Okay, so the the heat from the flame front breaks down the fuel the the fuel in front of the flame front, that then reacts with the air, releasing more heat and and sustains the combustion. And finally, you also need and this is a bit of a weak one, but we need sufficient turbulence. But in other words, what we need is we need good mix, a good mix between the oxygen and the fuel, uh, for combustion to take place. You don't want pockets of pure oxygen or pockets of pure fuel, um, because those can't burn by themselves. You need a good mix. And the better, more that they mix, um, the the more efficient the combustion. However, turbulence is often um, result as a result of a pressure drop, uh, which equals losses in your system. So that is a bit of a trade off.